Welcome back, YouTube. So today I'm going to do something a little different here, and I'm going to talk about some fundamental practices of Dogecoin and some things that need to happen in order for it to be successful, at least in the way that we believe it will be. And um, this is because of the video I released yesterday, uh, pretty much saying that, you know, the next 90 days determine everything as far as for how the community is going to embrace Dogecoin with utility and how if we're going to actually spend it and how the uh, Doge One rocket and stuff affects the marketing behind it. And I've been getting these comments for a while now and, you know, they're pretty much stating, well, you know, why should I spend my Dogecoin at, you know, 17 cents if it's going to be worth a dollar plus one day? I'm losing money. And, you know, yesterday they were commenting, if you spend your Dogecoin, you'll never get it back at those prices and stuff like that. And this is this. I think there's been a large misconception in the community. I believe a lot of the misconception as far as like on people like trying to pump their channels and different informations out there, just stating that, OK, it's going to go to the moon and not really focusing on, OK, well, how do we get there? What is the emphasis on that? And now we're coming at a point where it's time to actually uh, we have the opportunity to actually make that happen. And people are like, oh, I'm not spending my Dogecoin. It's going to go to the moon. And this is like self-sabotaging. And I want to break down. I'm going to do it mathematically as to why utility is so important for a coin like Dogecoin, because I think that people in an effort to promote themselves or their channels and stuff like that, they've been promoting Dogecoin like Bitcoin. And Dogecoin in itself is simply not a buy and hold scenario that you're going to go to the moon. And this is one of the reasons why I believe when even when Elon said uh, we're going to test Dogecoin out on Tesla merch and see how it goes, I believe that is what he's looking for. I believe specifically the see how it goes part is to see how much and how uh, strong the community is and willing to purchase, uh, you know, Tesla merch and use this integration to uh, spend their Dogecoin. And from the comments and the emails and stuff that I've been seeing, I, there's a lot of confusion out there. So I just want to clear it up. So forgive me if this video is a little different here, but I'm literally just talking. Um, there's no I have no uh, outline or points or anything to speak from. So this is literally just me having a conversation with you. So it may be um, a little different. So I also did some notes uh, stating that for uh, like Dogecoin to hit like five dollars or like I think it was like three or five dollars, we're going to need like a one point three trillion dollar evaluation, which is pretty much um, either on par or right a little bit above uh, Bitcoin's evaluation, which is 56 percent of the entire crypto market. Again, not impossible, but we're just going to take some either a mass market expansion or all the other or most of the other cryptos are not going to exist because um, the money is going to have to come from somewhere. Either that's retail or the institutions piling in the Dogecoin, which, again, is totally possible if they want to maintain control of it, if we put enough interest behind it through utility. But what we say is um, if we look at the last year, we say Dogecoin peaked at around 74 cents. And at 74 cents, we roughly had around an $80 billion evaluation. Um, if you take that and say, OK, at 74 cents, uh, we needed another what 25 cents, 26 cents to get to one dollar. So if you take that and you add that to the 80 billion, we're looking at, you know, a little over 100 billion dollars in order for us to get to one dollar. So when you say that, OK, we're going to go to the moon and then this is just pretty much going to break down the differences between Bitcoin and a Dogecoin and why Dogecoin is literally designed to be a currency. But if you say that and you say, OK, well, from last year till now, you know, now we're roughly like I think like 135, uh, 135 billion uh, coins and Dogecoin is being minted at a much faster rate than Bitcoin. So. When you say um, we're going to go to the moon, we have to say, OK, what does it take for Dogecoin um, to pretty much remain at the current level as far as sort of money flowing into the coin? And what do um, what does it take for it to actually excel? Dogecoin is being minted at around roughly 10,000 coins per minute or around 14.4 million coins per day. So in order for us to. Uh, maintain a dollar evaluation, we're going to roughly need $14.4 million a day flowing into Dogecoin for us just to hold the line. Anything um, over that, of course, we, you can get kind of get like that buying pressure to um, continuously move it up. Now, you are able to get those powerful explosions that we got last year when A, the coin is cheap and the market was really narrow. 
because Dogecoin is the reason that a lot of these coins exist now and the reason that we have this mass expansion in the crypto market. Dogecoin brought all those eyes on there. When you're seeing things like this coin got an 11,000% gain, now you have like some of the knockoff coins and the market just really blew up and everything's like, we're going to be the next Dogecoin. So when now that you have more options, the money that flew into Dogecoin and even inside the community, people will tell you that, oh, I'm selling my Dogecoin for such and such coin because they like patience and stuff like that. But the money gets dispersed. And so now the money is much more thinner around the market. And that's completely normal. People have shiny object syndrome and they want to invest, you know, um, $100 this week and turn it into 100000 next week. You know, that happens. That's not exclusive to Dogecoin or any other coin. That's just people's mentality. They want it now. But when you have... Um, when, you, when you factor in those uh, those things, you have to say, OK, what do what is a way that we can counteract this activity? Like, how do we counteract the coin that um, the, the, the it's not the, the market has expanded? So it's not going to be the center focus and everything is going to be like uh, literally just flowing into Dogecoin. So we have that massive buying pressure that can spike it up. But how do we um, are able how are we able to combat the. Um, the new coins that are being minted and also give us that price stability so that the whales aren't pumping and dumping the coin, you know, every 100% uh, like we're getting now between like 16 and 30, 33 cents. This comes from utility, which is literally the purpose of the coin. The coin is designed to be a currency. It's not designed to be um, a Bitcoin or something like that. If, if Bitcoin is the digital gold, then Dogecoin is something like the digital dollar. It is literally designed to be, it's not designed in itself, it's not designed to hold purchasing power and to um, use it to send it to like the moon or just, uh, you know, hold it over like 10 years and say what it's going to be if there's no utility behind it. Yes, there is a window which um, that I'm in and that all of you are in. If you're investing right now at these prices, there's a window that when we have that utility um, the price of Dogecoin is going to be able to escalate because of the amount of coins being removed from the market and being held. What do I mean by that? So let's say we have the Tesla partnership coming up, the AMC partnership coming up, the uh, GameStop partnership coming up. When we take our Dogecoin and we purchase um, AMC stuff, um, you know, concessions, movies, uh, Tesla merch and things like that, what we're doing is we are... Uh, even if we're just transferring from our wallets or we're buying and converting dollars to Dogecoin and stuff like that, what we're doing is we're removing current coins from the market. So this is simply supply and demand. When you have a large amount of coins on the market that people aren't buying, um, then the price of the overall coins, they go down. But when coins, when there's massive buying pressure and coins are getting swiped up off of the market or even coin, if coins become scarce, then of course, um, the price goes through the roof. So the idea behind this is if we have enough uh, people that are able to, uh, if we have enough people, enough partnerships that we're able to conduct business in Dogecoin, we can remove a lot of those coins from the market and they'll be held with these institutions that are conducting business in Dogecoin. And then at that point, they will, um, the price of Dogecoin overall because of the lower supply on the market will increase. And a lot of people are saying that, oh, why won't the companies just sell back their uh, their Dogecoin and convert it back to dollars and kind of do what the whales do? Not exactly. So unless you're like a financial institution like AMC or Tesla Merch, uh, Tesla or GameStop, they're not hedge funds or like a financial sector. They have no they're not in there trading cryptos and stocks and stuff like that and running RSIs and all that kind of stuff. They're, that's not what they do. That's not their business. So when these institutions, they will technically treat it similarly to stocks. And the, the example I love to use is you take um, Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos and you say that they have the Amazon stocks or the Tesla stocks. What happens if they say we want we're going to sell all of our stocks? Does in the short term, um, well, in general, really, it, you know, it, if it, once they start um, offloading their shares, the value of the shares go down dramatically. So even though they have these net worths of saying that, oh, OK, well, at, you know, three thousand dollars a share or whatever, um, they're worth, you know, two hundred fifty billion. That's if but we all know that they're if they decide to sell their positions, they're not going to get three thousand dollars per share.
because after they're unloading the uh, the market becomes flooded with their shares and the value goes down dramatically so that 300 uh, that 250 billion may be 100 maybe even less depending on um, if people are actually even interested in buying you know so when you do things like that if you want to take profit they do these typically through controlled releases and they'll have um you know it's not market they even have like some things that you know makes it even like illegal to for certain people to uh, depending on their positions and stuff like that to um over set to sell like large amounts just because of like price stability and stuff like that but um when you have these controlled releases if they want to take profit they'll have to they'll typically do so by dripping it or doing so very slowly and this in an um in a nutshell when you have enough institutions doing stuff like this and there's enough coins off the market that even gives you a form of price stability which is one of the reasons why those laws even exist in the first place so in essence if we spend our dogecoin we have the opportunity to remove a lot of the coins that are off the uh, that are on the market and they'll be held by the, by these institutions which will then if they simply if even if they if they, they may hold it you know depending especially if the price is going up they're definitely going to um, hold it or if they say we're going to convert it back to dollars but we don't also don't want to shoot ourselves in the foot and you know if the coin you know we're spending and spending and spending and the coin is worth 50 cents um now they're not going to say let's dump all of our coins while also continuously doing business in coins and devalue the coins that they uh either already have or the ones that they're going to get so typically they do that um by dripping the and doing it very slowly on the flip side of that if you do nothing and say that and if enough people say okay well we're not selling we're just going to hold our dogecoin nothing will happen because if we do nothing we'll be in a situation where we're simply waiting on news and um and hype to move the needle on the coin which is, and that's nothing more than new money coming into the um the coin and so and if we do something like that we're going to continuously see the sell-offs and the whales and traders and stuff taking profits this is utility is the way that you're going to be able to take power back from whales and traders and stuff like that and um, have it with some of the institutions that do uh business with dogecoin and the plus side of that is you know there's you know roughly i think the article said that over 65 percent of people invested in crypto own dogecoin the benefit of that is when do we see how powerful the community is and especially if we do our part and we start uh, spending dogecoin other businesses other institutions are going to say let's conduct business with this coin what we want is we want amc we want tesla and anybody else that's um, doing business with dogecoin to literally come out publicly and be like the response that we've got from conducting business in dogecoin has been absolutely overwhelming it has been absolutely incredible like matter of fact uh 40 of all of our sales now are in dogecoin it's crazy other businesses are going to be on board with that because they're going to say these people are looking for somewhere to spend their coins. They're looking for somewhere to do business with their coins and they're going to come in there and that's going to give people more options to and more places to spend their Dogecoin, not just on movie tickets or clothes, but maybe even food or, or car parts and stuff like that. This kind of this is how the community grows and we get that expansion as a currency. And I think that the confusion for a lot of this is is uh, people have been just pushing Dogecoin or pumping Dogecoin as a way to um, just get rich or as a way to, uh, you know, just, you know, turn a little money into a lot of money without explaining like the actual mechanisms behind it and explaining that Dogecoin is literally meant to be a currency. We do have a window of time, which we are all in right now, that we're going to be able to ride that wave up. But unless there is a change to like the blockchain or a, um, a, or a restriction to the actual amount of the uh, the coins that we have here, we're going to have to win through utility. It mathematically does not work. I don't care what how many people like write comments and say uh, say stuff like that. It mathematically does not work for to hold a coin that is minting for fourteen point four million dollars, fourteen point four million coins a day. If we all simply held the coin and did nothing how would it increase in value unless more people came into the coin or people were actually using it so that those are the only two ways that it increases in value so you're either hoping for hype or you're hoping for utility so just which one are you hoping for and for us as far as for me um i'm hoping for uh utility just for uh a uh price uh stability and also we're going to actually have the opportunity to actually make it a currency if we don't do that 
then we're simply uh, depending on hype. And then, of course, we're at the mercy of the market. The community is large enough to make this actually possible. The, the question is, are we all willing to cooperate? And that's why I'm very interested to see and to make sure that, you know, I'm doing my part and, you know, just relaying like actual information and not just saying, oh, buy the coin, we're going to the moon magically without looking at the how. Maybe that's just me because, you know, I'm actually long term in the coin and, you know, actually, you know, interested in being a part of like the first actual, you know, uh, digital currency. But I think about things that, oh, that's like, oh, the Doge one is coming out. Oh, the Robinhood wallets are coming out. Great, by the way. But what happens afterwards? What happens after the Doge one? Are we, you know, are, are we just waiting for everybody to take profits and then we go back into a similar situation that we are in now and we have to wait on it or try and get a new catalyst to try and pump it up again? Or are we actually looking for something more stable and actually looking to use the coin for its actual purpose? Coin, the coins are going to operate in their purpose. Uh, Dogecoin will operate best being spent as an actual currency. The same reason that they're saying we now accept Bitcoin as payment and everybody's wondering why they're not spending their Bitcoin. Why? It's not meant. To, it's literally like a digital gold. It's meant to be a store of value. Why am I spending uh, Bitcoin for this here? Like I like using the example of buying a car with Bitcoin. You can buy a car with Bitcoin at 9 a.m. You drive the car off the lot. The car is worth half the price. And by 6 p.m., Bitcoin's doubled. Like it makes no sense. It's that's not its purpose. We, we will best use these um, cryptos as if they operate in their purpose. I typically don't like making long videos, but I feel like I, I, I've covered this in sections and, and parts of different videos as it was a part of a different um, uh, video or a different topic. But because of the amount of confusion that I'm actually seeing out here, um, I wanted to make a separate video so that uh, we can kind of clear the room here and get this out there so that this can literally uh, this information can literally be like relayed because I believe it's something that you know, a lot of people aren't saying. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Um, I'd love to uh, converse with all of you. Again, we are all growing together. So I love to have that conversation with you. Let me know what you thought of the video um, and let me know if you found value as well. And if you have not, um, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, you can always change your mind later. But if you haven't noticed, even by this video, um, I do no fluff and we're going to get down to the facts of it. We cover Dogecoin, we look at market, I do technical analysis. And we just get really get this guy get right down to it so if you haven't yet i welcome you to the channel and also like it the video as well uh, that helps youtube share it and push it out to additional people so that way we're growing in numbers and knowledge together and one more thing don't forget about blockfi if you open an account with them you can get up to 250 dollars in some of your favorite cryptos including bitcoin and ethereum i appreciate all of you thank you and until next time